Welcome to Biology Made Easy. Today we are discussing how you can construct a dichotomous scheme. Welcome. In this lesson, we have used these common soil organisms. Most of them you can easily recognize like this termite, earthworm, to use to learn the techniques of constructing dichotomous keys. Now, what is an identification key to start with? They are just series of statements which can be used to identify unfamiliar organisms. And the statements are features or characteristics. So if I take this organism, for instance, if I look at the walking legs, it's a feature. The number of legs, the shape of the legs, the where the legs are attached is a feature. It's different how these walking legs are attached, their sizes, numbers, etc. So these are the features that describe the organisms that are going to be used to work out the key. And dichotomous keys, we look at only two, a pair of contrasting features. We look at the leg of this one and the leg of this one. Only two features at a time. Good. In this lesson, these organisms, I drew them on a page and wrote their names here. Now, in constructing a key, you will look out, first of all, for general distinguishing features. So in this organism, for instance, some of the very general distinguishing features is the shape of the body. These ones, look at the shape. This one is elongated, elongated, D, F is also elongated, G is elongated. The rest, A, C, E, H, I, they are not elongated. So we can have elongated ones and not elongated ones. And the elongated ones, we have cylindrical ones. This is elongated and cylindrical. That is D. F is also elongated and cylindrical. But B is elongated and flattened. G is elongated and flattened. Those are the elongated Types. The not elongated types are A, C, E, H, and I. So in constructing a key, when you pick one feature, you should finish dealing completely with that feature before you go to the other feature. So elongated and cylindrical, we will finish dealing with this feature completely before we come to the non-elongated. So the elongated, cylindrical, and flattened, we go to two. Not elongated, we go to column three. So we will leave column three blank, all right? And finish dealing with the elongated ones first. So we sorted out elongated, and we are coming to here, two, to sort them out. Two, we have segmented cylindrical or flattened, we have to sort them out because the cylindrical should be in one box, flattened should be in another box. But we have unsegmented and cylindrical here. It's unsegmented and cylindrical. It's only one. Well, we found its name is Rabdita. It's a round worm. We finish it, so we put the name down. That is it. Now, we have to deal with this, so we give it the box Four. See, three is still vacant because that one should not be touched until we have finished with the elongated. So four, we came to four to sort out the segmented cylindrical and flattened ones. So we came here, four, they are all segmented, but D is cylindrical body and has a clitoris, no legs. So we've sorted it. That is it, lumbricus. But then we come to flattened body, but have legs. Each abdominal segment has a pair of walking legs. 
that is this B here. Each abdominal segment has only a pair of working legs. It's a centipede, Scrutigera species. But the other friend has two pairs of working legs on each segment. And that is it. Narcius is a type of millipede. Now, you see that we have finished sorting out the elongated bodies whether it's cylindrical or flattened. We finished. So now we go to the not elongated body, which we told ourselves to go to three. So now we come to three to fit in, sort them out. The not elongated. They include A, C, E, H, and I. Not elongated body. And if we look at the not elongated bodies, A, C, E, H, I. Look at A. It has three body divisions. This is one. This is two. This is three. We look at E. It has three body divisions. This is one. This is two. This is three. We look at C. It has two body divisions. This is one and two. H has two body divisions. This is one and two. I has two body divisions. This is one and two. So the not elongated body we have one with two major body divisions, but they have four pairs of legs. This has four pairs of legs. These are walking legs. This is not a leg, it's a pedipal. This is also have four pairs of walking legs and a pedipal. Four pairs of walking legs and a pedipal. Well, you need to know classification. It helps in constructing identification keys. So for the not elongated body, which we left, Three, we are now filling it in. There's one group that has a body with two major divisions and four pairs of working legs. We give it go to six. And we have to finish dealing with this group, sorting them completely out before we come to deal with this group. So you see, this one is go to dash. We haven't, because we have to finish sorting this. So this, we are going to go to box six to be able to sort this group out. So we have, hold on, we have this group six, body has two major divisions with four pairs of legs, go to six. So six, we have, we are going to sort C, H, I out. They are the ones that have two body divisions with four pairs of walking legs. We are going to sort them out. And in this group, we have this organism here, I. It has a shorter, huge pedipal and a sting here, abdominal sting. This one is also makes it a distinguishing feature. It's on the abdomen. So it has a huge claw at the end of the pedipal and then this sting. And that makes it the scorpion. So we have identified this one. It's left this with these two to sort out. And you see that the two of them, C and H, they all have this pedipalp, very long pedipal. And these long pedipalps, very identical with a chain of joints, very similar. So we put them together to go to seven because at seven we have to sort them out we need to use another characteristics of the two this one and this one to sort the two out well the most easiest characteristics to use to sort them out this one has a very round abdomen this one has a flatter quite rectangular abdomen so the one that has a round abdomen we sort it out as Nebusium silvaticum, a kind of a species. And the one that have a flattened rectangular one, uh, abdomen, is also another type of Nebusium species. So you notice that we have finished sorting out the organisms that we went to column six with. They have two major divisions and four pairs of walking legs. You finish sorting them out before you come to sort this. So now we are going to sort this one to tell ourselves which column to go. We have to go to eight, all right? We sorted this and fitted it and seven. 
We finished sorting this out, going to six, and we had to go to seven to sort the, these ones with four pairs of working legs and two major divisions. Finish sorting them out. So we are now going to fit where we should go. That is eight, right? So we are going to sort them and go to eight. A and E. A has huge brown head with thick mandibles. It's termite, macrotems. And then we've left with E to give a key to. It has a narrow waist between the thorax and the abdomen. And so this is how to work out dichotomosky. Separate the two out. And when you separate the two, picking a feature, finish dealing with the feature completely. Like this feature, elongated. Finish dealing with elongated completely before you come to pick a feature on non-elongated body. And then the non-elongated body, there are also differences. You finish dealing with one feature before you come to draw the key for another feature. That is the trick. So if we've been helpful, please give us a thumb. Please subscribe. Thank you very much and goodbye.